Perhaps it is a testament to the Dendro Archon's benevolence that I, a descendant of the El Ahmar bloodline, am able to live peacefully on this land. If so, I suppose I am grateful for this much, but I am first and foremost a child of the desert. A truly unusual scholar, unlike any other I've ever met. He sees and thinks about things in his own unique way. I only hope he never wields his sharp mind against the peace of our village. Whenever Dia brings any of her Aramites to stay at Aru village, she always keeps them on their very best behavior. I have to say, it makes my life a lot easier. Ah, Dia. <laughs> she might look like trouble at first, but the truth is that she's really quite adorable. In the past, it was rare to see the Academia's General Mahamatra on this side of the Wall of Samuel, but recently he has been showing up here all the time. I believe that the Aramites have some truly terrifying stories to tell about him. You will always be an honored guest of Aru Village, no matter the day or time of your visit. If ever you tire of your journey, know that here you can always find rest. Our village welcomes you with open arms, as do I. They say that in every person's heart is a precious box into which they place the things they treasure so that they may guard them for their entire life. My heart harbors many treasures. Care to guess what those might be? When I received my vision, people in the village kept telling me it was a blessing from Ahmar. That doesn't matter to me. I swore to protect the village. And I will do it, with or without a vision. 